Welcome back in this segment of our show brought to you by Fast Frame, FastFrameKnoxville.com. They can take anything and turn it into a work of art. I mean anything. Say, for instance, you have a 1985 old Atlanta Braves program. And in the middle of that thing, there is a poster that you'd have to pull out that would be folded after 30 years uh, of old Fulton County Stadium, like that. And they've turned that thing into a work of art. That was a terrible looking uh, scrap of paper out of an old program and fast frame turns it into something you can hang in your house, your office, wherever. Fast Frame Knox will take your stuff to them. It's starting into that Christmas season. Get it out there quick. Fast Frame. All right. Uh, back with uh, Sterling, Bobby, over at the big board, we have Mike Strange and Chuck Cavalleras. And I'm going to start with you guys. Let's talk about the run offense for Tennessee. Chuck, what do you have? Well, I mean, I thought the run offense was close to a four. Again, I thought the only thing that took away from that over 200 yards was uh, some of the pre-snap not being able to get the fourth down late in the game. I would give yes, them a that's three. That's Mike's. Yeah, okay, I'll give Mike a three. <laughs> well, what do you say, Mike? I've got one four in me today, and it's going to be right there. Put a four up there because they were challenged, and I thought they responded. Okay, a four and a three. Guys, Tennessee, 43 carries, 226 yards, zero fumbles, too. Thoughts? Five alive. One more time, bro. Let me tell you now, that run that, that Neil had, I was right there on the sideline, saw that thing. He got hit, I don't know what, five, six times and came up through that, baby. Five alive. That alone set the tone for the run game. Okay. Bobby? I'm, I'm going to go with a three. I can't, uh, <laughs> I can't go uh, any higher than that just simply because, you know, I felt, I felt like that, uh, you know, the offensive line, you know, didn't didn't do the job when when he had to, especially on third and fourth third down, one. one yard. And you can question those calls, but you know, know. You're, if, if you're NFL offensive line, hey, the job's bust a hole. Uh, we're gonna need to speed this up a little bit. Okay. Run defense, Mike Strange, you started. Uh, gave up 444 yards. Nick Marshall, two, 214. Trey Mason, What's 170. The, do we have to give a one or can we give a zero? You have to give a one. One. You would give them a zero if you could. Yeah. All right, Chuck. I, I feel exactly the same way. I mean, I, and I think it should be a zero, but if one's the minimum, the minimum. One go, to five. Go ahead with another one. All ones over here from these guys, Sterling too. Okay. Uh, pass offense, Chuck. Uh, well, I'll tell you what, let's start over here. Sterling, pass offense, 16 to 25, 128 yards. Five yards per attempt, one interception. I'm going to give that a three simply because I love the completion percentage. I love the decision making. He's growing back there. And he's, he, I think he grew up a little bit yesterday. Okay. I think he did too, but, uh, but I, don't, I, don't think he, I don't think he played well enough to win this ball game, so I'm going to give him a two. And, I, and it's not just him either. I, you know, I didn't see a lot of guys catching the ball and then making yeah. plays after the catch and that kind of stuff. What do you think? Uh, I'm, I'm going to give him a two. 128 yards. Yeah. And the fact that you bogged down in the red zone, had to settle for the field goals. Plus, at some point in the game, can you actually line the quarterback up under center and start a play that way and see what happens? Okay. You, you had a Maybe point to make there. <laughs> two. We, two for pass off. That had nothing to do with pass offense, but Chuck had it on well, his Well, it does, too. You to can't start a play, okay. pass play that way. No, they can't. Not in this day. It can't be done. All right. Uh, <laughs> pass defense. Bobby? Hey, they held uh, Auburn to 35 well, yards. Yeah, just three they, and seven. But they played the run terribly. I'm giving them a one. A one by the secondary for their, their play in the pass. Well, I mean, the, well, the secondary did not play well, but, you know, with those numbers alone, I can't go below with three because those numbers are oh, good. But, those they numbers didn't, are good. but they didn't throw the ball. Wait a second. Well, that's, it's the reason why. One out of every three completions was a touchdown for Auburn. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Thoughts? Uh, I'm, I'm going to give him a two. Uh, Jock S. Smith, interception, yeah, that's okay. pass defense, but still gave two. up a touchdown among those two. Yeah, interception Chuck. with a hand and a cast broken thumb, two. All right, you guys tally those up. I'm going to ask you this. Uh, is this team on the verge of quitting? I don't, I'm, I don't think so. I don't think Butch Jones will let them quit. I think if, if they show signs of quitting, they need to find their butts on the bench. No, absolutely not. You know, we went up against some incredible competition these past few weeks. And it's my thing. I think we're training ourselves for this other BCS thing. The BCS being gone, we can ready for the big time, baby, next year, baby. <laughs> it's playoff, playoff time. Year. Two oh, games. man. And we're going to win them. Oh. Two games. We're bowling for yeah, dollars. After you dollars. win those first 12, all you need is those next two. Hey, all, right. It, <laughs> all right, what did we come up with? 36. 36. Very generous. Way too generous. <laughs> yeah, as agree. the host, as that's way, Bobby, you agree with me. That's, 
Uh, that is better than their performance against Alabama, Missouri, Florida, Florida Oregon. Eh, wrong. Not good. Not good. We're going to stay late after class today, folks. <laughs> well, we, we're we're going to stay late after team. class. We we did, do special, special teams would have been a minus. <laughs> okay. It would be minus 15 for special teams. So that's a 21. <laughs> All right. When we come back, Isaiah Victor. We're going to talk a little basketball. we still got more football to come. We've got a very special guest with us a little bit later in the show, we think. Come on back on the Enrichment Sports Source. Miss an episode of the Enrichment Sports Source? Catch up online at sportsource.tv.